In this video, in the course of just a few seconds, you see a message being transmitted just by lights. It's converted to binary and then encoded in those lights and then sent. And it's very quick. The decoded version looks like this. You can see the text as it's decoded appears along the bottom there. Now I'm going to run the decoder live so you can watch. Here you see the words being pulled out of the message. Um, it's pretty fast. I think a lot of the time is in reading the file because it's a video. Now if I turn on um, some logging, you can see a little bit more about what happens. Let's run this again. And now you see that the program looks and figures out which pixels are on. And then, you know, they don't instantaneously appear. So there's some periods of inconsistency, and the program has to kind of do its best to get it. So for instance, we got three frames of 18s, and then one with a 2. And then we decided that that was to be an 18, because that's the highest value we saw here. Um, let me show you that in the video, just kind of going through slowly. So I'm just advancing frame by frame, and here's, here's where the action starts. So here's a frame. You can see that the two on the right, uh, those are registration pixels. They're always lit. We use that to find how the Circuit Playground Express is oriented, because it can be rotated a little bit or moved up and down in the picture. Next frame. Brighter still, look at that. So these are, this represents a binary number. This is a, a one, this is the twos column, this is the fours column, this is the eights column. And so that makes this a nine, which is the ninth letter of the alphabet, which we map to A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. So this is an I right here. And we're gonna keep going. So there are a few frames where we have the I, the, the nine lit up, and then it begins to fade away. And look, now that we see that the lights are all dim on that side, we decide, okay, that's an eye. So you see, you see the eye here. Okay, now, almost immediately, the next pattern appears. And that's a 1, 2, 4, 8, 16. So 16 and 4 is 20. So what's that going to be? And now that's fully illuminated. And now it's going off. And we see, well, that's going to be a T. And then so on. So I'd love to see this with a high-speed camera um, and measure the time it takes these lights to go on and off. But just advancing through here frame by frame, you can see, you can see how the program operates. OK, uh, that's it for this part. I'm going to get into the details next.